I'm saying what we're saying. If Benson gave up three sacks last week, why is he still a star? Yeah, he need to be out the game, man. They got to either take him out or move him back to his position. And if you're going to keep him in, he can't stay in at guard. Now, if you go move him, move him to tackle or whatnot, but I do not want to see him run out there at guard. If y'all like, oh, well, he's his normal position is tackle. We're going to give him a shot at that. Cool. But he got to either be on the bench or be at tackle. I don't want to see him at guard, man. Hey, I'm with you 100%. 100%. Like, and, and, and what I don't understand, like, I was giving, what's my man named Lou Holtz? Yeah. I was giving him mad props because I like what he's doing with the line and everything. And like the line looked better than what it looked last year. But I know just from being a football guy, Tyler Brown is too small to be a tackle in the league. You know yeah. For sure. So his best shot is center or guard. Mm -hmm. We're trying to put him in the league if that's the goal. I'm trying to find out what the goal is right now. Like, is the goal trying to get everybody to the league, or is we just trying to get certain people to the league, or uh, like what? Yeah. Are we trying to build for next year? Like, what's the goal? The goal for them, man, the main goal for everybody should be to win because you start off the season big buzz. The buzz continue. You're on national TV, you know, third week in a row. Had a high-rated game last week. Like, if you don't win, that buzz falls off. Now you got less scouts coming to practice. You got less eyes on the TV, and that's less exposure for people. So the goal should be to win so everybody can get maximum exposure regardless of what position they at but i get what you're saying them dudes need to go back to their normal positions man like let's just bring them let them play the position we brought them in to play and let's see how it work out well about receivers who aren't playing amaria miller and i think oh should be on the field for sure but none of that matters if we can't protect the quarterback is if he can't throw the ball Right. Why does it matter which receivers on the field? So I feel like we need to get the offensive line figured out first, and I would love to see some of them other players get rotated in. Uh, to me, the game matters, but it's not as far as, like, it matters for our season goals. To be able to be successful is just playing the right people and putting them in the right position. Nick Saban said something that really stuck with me I think he said it last week they was talking about some school might have been AM, might have been texas he was like you know having a million dollars worth of players million dollar players mean nothing if you're not having team having your team have million dollar players means nothing if you're not playing the right people so i feel like that's the situation that we're in again this year is we don't know if we're playing the right people or not because we're not giving other people a chance. And I think it's time to do that. Hey, I'm a, I'm a hundred percent with you on that, but it's just like, I don't understand. Why. I just don't understand why, why make it make sense. Like what did they, 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 Bucky say something about he was upset and he was saying something about playing different guys or something like that. Yeah, he said he had a conversation with Prime, basically telling them, like, bro, you got to get on your coaches. They got to get it together, man. And he said after that, Prime had a conversation with some of the coaches, but he was just basically telling them what we all saying. And I heard Bucky called the O-line out, uh, which I think Bucky has a better relationship with this year's O-line to where he can call them out and they won't take it personal. You know, they done been to Miami together on yachts, and so they got to better relationship and they know they're not playing well so well well let, unless there's this is what i don't like about it because they keep saying the old line it ain't the old line it's mm. one guy <laughs> it says missing it's one guy that's really blowing his assignments some other people are getting beat here and there but yeah. getting beat consistently it's one guy so where why are we talking around this guy when he didn't talk around nobody he bullied everybody he was the big bad wolf. So mm -hmm. when you're balling like you're supposed to ball, why won't people say his name and run up on him and say it like they need to say it, like how he ran up on everybody else? 
Yeah. And people say you shouldn't throw your lineman under the bus. I understand not doing that when you're talking to the media. You know, you got your post-game interview. But, dog, at practice, in the locker room, even during a game on the side, if you playing trash, bro, I'm calling you out. Like, bro, you got to step it up, bro. You're going to get me killed back here. They should be okay with doing that. That's not being a prima donna or calling people. Bro, What what's going on, bro? He beating you every play, dog. Like, do we need to get somebody else in here? Like, I'm calling them dudes out, man. I don't care. I'm not going to get in front of the media and be like, yeah, my old line trash. But I'm going to tell them that to their face on the field, in the game. Yeah, yeah. And that was he should do a push number 66. Oh, yeah, I see him trying to push. Yeah, I see that. So I don't know why he pushed him. Like, I think they were trying to hurry up and maybe he was trying to Yeah, talk. he was moving slow. They were trying to hurry up. He like, go, bro. You trying to talk. Oh. You, you try to talk to do about being on this podcast next week. Hey man, you gonna let me get your <laughs> man, get your ass. <laughs> but but I, I don't understand why we making this so hard. Like Tyler Brown been solid at guard, so why he playing tackle now? Yeah, it it doesn't make any sense to me, man. And what's starting to upset me is that we're all seeing it. We're all saying the same thing, so I know they're seeing it. I've been saying I'm going to give them this game to show me, you know, some adjustments, man. And I'm not looking for them to, you know, just come out and run the ball 40 times um, unless that's what they want to do. I'm just – I'm looking for a balance. I'm looking for them to put the O-line and Shador in a position to succeed, man. They're going to get Shador killed, man. That's but that's the, my biggest fear, man. They're gonna get Shador killed, man. Help me understand this right here. Help me understand. Gold jacket film study guy, Coach Prime. He studied film. He know about way more about football than us. Mm-hmm. Why in the hell does Bucky have to go talk to him about what his coach is doing? He should be on top of that, man. It's. It's stubbornness, man, and it's, hey, we're still only one and one. You know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But, dog, we seen the same stuff we saw in the last half of the season last year. I Honestly, like I said, I think it's going to change. Um, the reason is it's unfortunate because of Shiloh's injury, and Prime knows that if Shador gets injured – his whole life gonna change, man. 